Hi guys, I am Sensorium Muppet and welcome along to Ethereum. I'm gonna have a go at the Battle of Vega in the campaign simulation. So let's see. Difficulty is very hard because we're in a total war. Uh, in this historical recreation, you take on the role of Denvar Boss Anders, a pilot serving with a Vega militia. Anders led the destruction of the Vega Jump Boy network, greatly disorganizing the Revy forces and delaying their inevitable invasion of Vega. He went on to participate in the Battle of Copernicus Station, where he was shot down just three minutes into the battle by a Revy Drekka class destroyer. That's unfortunate. So, the objectives destroy, destroy the Jump Boys at Marker 1 and 2 and defend. Copernicus Station. We'll go with normal difficulty. And let's go. As you know, the Reveal rely on the Jump Boys the same as we do. While their jump drives are more advanced than ours, they still rely on the transmissions from a boy to coordinate their re entry into normal space. Without this transmission, the Revy will most likely exit jump space several million kilometers off course. HQ is determined that we are left with no choice but to destroy the jump boys in this system. Once destroyed, the Revy attack should be less coordinated. Alpha Wing will take out Marker 1 and Marker 2. Once Marker 1 has been destroyed, proceed to Marker 2 and take it out. Otawa has been equipped with an extra fuel tank, should give you adequate fuel to get in and out as fast as possible. Do not attempt to engage enemy forces as you will be severely outgunned. Just destroy the buoys and move on. Dismissed. Well, we've got two seekers and a fuel tank. Just more than enough to take out the buoys perhaps. Who knows? Can we target the buoys? Oh, could have done. And you break an attack and cover me while I right, lock onto the buoy, wherever that may be. Oh, that's all the way in the distance. Oh, now we're under attack. So, let's just go fly in with our afterburners. Alright, so Sim 1, you can return to formation now because you went there just to, well, protect my ass. Oh, bugger. Ooh, that was close. Alright, let's get to the next jump boy. It takes more than a missile hit to destroy those buoys. Oof, that was close. <laughs> Come on, give me the autopilot, yeah? Enemies near. I don't think I'll have enough to get away. 32 kilometers away and I can't autopilot. Yeah, only 25 minutes away from the next marker. Mm. Oh, get off my radar. Finally. God, that was paid in the ball. Right. Uh, huh. So until they start shooting me, and then we'll have to burn right past the buggers. Right, that'll go. Oh, 
Come on, jump buoy. Oh, I can't already. Right, we're out of here. Finally. Let's get back to Copernicus Station, where we'll have to defend it, I believe. Okay, that's taken care of. Now we just have to defend the station, unfortunately. No? Okay, we'll just dock there, shall we? Great work, but we're not out of this yet. Revy ship are closing on our position. Alright, so we get to do a another mission in this. I thought it was just a single one. All pilots, see your fighters. We've got Revy incoming. Wow, look at all these. Star, is it? Lost the auto station already. This is a class pressure to you. <laughs> Just as it was with the real Battle of Vega, Copernicus Station fell. After an initial attack on the Copernicus Station, all future ever attacks were much less organised due to the destruction of the jump buoy network. However, with the Copernicus station out of the way and the majority of the Vega militia forces destroyed, the Revy were able to take the planet with relative ease. End simulation. Is that the mission where you lasted like three minutes and you died? Okay, well there you go guys. A no-win scenario for Ethereum on PC. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Until then, game safe and bye for now.